opportunity before I headed back out tomorrow. I wanted to uh, <clears throat> do a gear review. I haven't uh, really done an official gear review based upon the fact that um, I've spent a week with this gear now. It's dialed in. I know exactly what I have. I know exactly what I want. And uh, um, everything is working very well. Um, so starting with the big three, that's my uh, Atmos AG65. And uh, part of the reason I didn't do a gear review is the, the Friday before I left Tampa, uh, I wound up going back to uh, Tampa Bay Outfitters and uh, they exchanged my AG50 for uh, the AG65 so that I had the, uh, the room I needed um, because for winter gear I've got an extra day's worth of hiking clothes and uh, just the sleeping clothes and whatnot so um, I just needed a few extra liters and I think when the summer rolls around I may look for a uh, lighter like maybe the Exos pack or something that's lighter that uh, uh, could step down a little bit and wait, but that pack right there carries uh, everything I have very comfortably and very efficiently. Enlightened Equipment Revelation 20 degree bag, it's a 950 fill. Um, once I put it in that evac sack, I can literally just sit down on it and all the air comes out the bottom and that orange membrane there, and uh, that gets pretty flat, uh, but that, uh, that stows nicely in my pack. Um, I'm using the uh, Big Agnes Q Core SLX uh, sleeping pad. Uh, other known as the uh, mouse launching pad, um, but it uh, very comfortable. Um, it, I don't feel any cold air coming through in the middle of the night um, when I've, I've slept in a couple of shelters and then on the ground with it, and it's, uh, it's fantastic. Uh, the only drawback is it's noisy, um, but comfort for noise, and I haven't been accused of snoring yet, so uh, let's hope that the, uh, the crunchiness of my bag doesn't get me a... Uh, trail name I'm not not fond of um, and then I've got the uh, Sea to Summit Arrows pillow uh, that's the large and tell you what couldn't do it without it um, having a pillow at night you know for sleeping on my back or side sleeping is phenomenal that, that blows up and uh, fills the hood of my uh, Thermalite reactor um, sleeping bag liner and uh, it just it stays in place and it's all fantastic the, uh, another thing with the uh, Enlightened Equipment quilts is uh, they have straps that so it'll strap itself to the uh, sleeping pad so it stays in place through the night. So as you toss and turn back and forth, uh, you basically stay under your quilt. And if you get a little drafty, all you have to do is just tuck the edges into your shoulder. And then I'm using the uh, Fly Creek uh, High Volume UL2. Uh, fantastic tent, very light, uh, very easy to set up. Um, takes a few times to practice but once you've uh, once you've practiced and uh, you got the hang of it it's a it's a great tent to have uh, moving on to cooking and food uh, you guys have probably seen me use my water bottles and there's been questions about uh, using Nalgene bottles as opposed to bladders or whatever else but uh, I like to use the 32 ounce Nalgene bottle for clean water clean water only um, so that's a uh, that's a, a you know I go straight from my Sawyer squeeze into that and uh, purify there and then when I go to camp I've got a two liter platypus um, that I'll take into uh, either the shelter of the the camp and I treat that water so in the uh, 32 ounce Nalgene it's uh, always just clean water I use the smaller Nalgene for electrolyte mixes um, if I want to mix milk or anything of that nature that's going to be you know just using cold water or even warm water uh, whichever but um, I don't ever have to worry about washing flavors out of my big water bottle, so I use that. And also, if I'm uh, slack packing, it's nice to take the, uh, the smaller Nalgene bottle with me um, and just efficiently map out my water sources and I don't have to carry as much water. Um, and then I've got a uh, Tokes, uh, just 16 ounce coffee cup down there. I use it for coffee and uh, hot cocoa and whatnot. So um, I guess those are probably a little bit of a luxury. Um, Water treatment, I'm using the Sawyer Squeeze, I love it. Um, and then with the uh, Aqua Mirror Parts A and B, uh, I tell you what, the water's been fantastic. Haven't had any problems so far. Uh, that's a Tokes, um, I think it's a 700 milliliter uh, pot and I've got the uh, MSR Pocket Rocket 2 stove um, and then the uh, Soto Jet Lighter. It's, um, uh, that combination right there is working awesome. And I've got the uh, Tokes um, Titanium uh, I actually have a spork and I have the spoon, long handle spoon with the uh, polished bowl, um, which I like quite a bit. That's my food bag. Um, I am planning for that food bag to last me um, once I depart here tomorrow, um, probably uh, five days. I'm going to go to Unicoi Gap and then uh, I'm going to push on to Dick's Creek and I'm thinking 
uh, four days and there's some spare in there but I've got plenty of breakfast plenty of dinners and then snacks and and protein bars and whatnot for the for the day so I think that's gonna work out quite well um, the uh, hygiene wise you know I've got the uh, sawed off toothbrush uh, toothpaste I've got some of the uh, uh, foot powder and I've got the Dr. Bonner soap and then that's a spare bottle of the uh, hand purifier that's in there and then uh, for the privies I have regular TP um, this year in Georgia there's a sign that says that uh, um, the privies the enzymes that they're using to uh, break down the human waste doesn't do well with uh, baby wipes and handy wipes so I keep the uh, wilderness wipes for you know just cleaning and uh, you know burying those as necessary and then trying to help out with uh, um, being mindful of, of what they're trying to do with the privies it's nice to go to shelter or campsite and have a privy so if they uh, only want TP in there then that's what they're gonna get uh, kind of moving along these are uh, my Crocs right here um, and uh, inside there my Yak Tracks uh, um, shoe spikes for the uh, for the icy ground and slippery ground haven't had to use those yet but um, you know as early riser just put out and uh, scoutmaster who's ahead of me uh, by about a week um, they have come in handy for him and I know once I get to the Smokies and I find the uh, snow and the ice that I'm gonna be glad that I have those regular first aid kit um, pretty light but it's got also my tent repair my sleeping pad repair uh, needle thread ibuprofen you know all of the normal stuff but it's in a pretty small compact waterproof bag uh, my lucky trekking poles uh, port and starboard since I'm windjammer uh, if anybody catches me hiking backwards if they can figure out that you know be sure to call me out on it and then uh, that's my uh, black diamond storm headlamp using that to kind of light the field here as I go through this gear video um, and then my Z seat um, I love the Z seat this is a uh, this has worked out quite well. It, uh, it's, it's nice because uh, for the Fly Creek UL2, it has one entrance and it's in the front of the tent. And uh, you know, I'm a large fellow, so it's nice to be able to kneel down on something that uh, won't get my clothes dirty or wet or anything as I get into my tent. Um, it's been good to have to sit on. It's good to uh, put your feet on while you're uh, drying them off and then you wanna put your socks on before you put them into your shoes. So very versatile piece of gear and then a, uh, a pack towel for uh, drying out the inside of my tent as necessary. Um, for those of you who followed my previous videos, you know that I did a um, slack pack, and this is my Sea to Summit uh, day pack. And uh, basically what I put in my day pack was that small Nalgene bottle, my water treatment, um, I had my gloves, I have a, um, a yeah, buff that has the um, uh, both the uh, fleece inside and uh, normal buff outside um, in there my rain jacket and uh, some snacks and power bars for the day and um, I'll tell you it was very comfortable it carried the weight very well and um, I'm excited to have that because as opportunities present themselves to slack pack or you know, the need to go to town or whatnot it's uh, it's pretty nice to have it takes up no space and it's uh, very lightweight these are the uh, Manzilla uh, gloves packable gloves they're windproof and uh, rain resistant um, they've been fantastic so far. I've only I've worn them once, but my hands were nice and warm and dry. Uh, sleeping wise, this is a uh, Columbia, and it's got the uh, Reflectix material inside. That's the uh, use the REI uh, mid weight um, mid layer, uh, just uh, thermal underwear, and this is a uh, Columbia micro fleece. And uh, I've been for the most part very warm. I have a uh, Columbia beanie, and these are my uh zinza calf compression socks um I, I wear those every night while i'm sleeping for uh for recovery haven't had any swelling in my legs my feet or my ankles um, been fantastic and then i store all of that in a big agnes pump house some people don't like using the pump house but uh it's been pretty convenient for blowing up the uh blowing up the air mattress and if anything i like to uh, compress everything down so as i put that in that bag and i roll it down I can open the valve on the bottom and uh, compress all the air out of it and close it and it's a nice watertight bag and there's just no uh, extra space taken up by air so very efficient for storing everything. Uh, getting into my rain jacket, uh, this is just a uh, Columbia rain jacket. I've used this for sailing for years. It's got the uh, uh, armpits that unzip. Uh, the hood will stow into the collar. Um, it's got the rain resistant zippers. 
as you can see, it's a uh, just a very comfortable jacket, and it stows up in its own pocket and uh, takes up very little room. These are my uh, Columbia rain pants. I keep those rolled up and uh, inside my pack. That is my Sea to Summit pack cover, uh, and this is a Montbell uh, uh, 900 fill uh, down pullover. It's a, it's a quarter zip. It's got a kangaroo pocket that goes through the front, so I can kind of put my hands in there together and uh, keep them warm. Uh, great piece of gear, very light. I mean, it, it uh, feels like you're holding a paper towel with that thing, but it's fantastic. Um, so for winter time, this is a uh, this is a full set of hiking gear. It is or hiking clothing rather. There's a um, pair of uh, ex officio underwear. There is uh, Ingenji sock liners, a pair of darn tough socks in there, uh, a Columbia long sleeve uh, lightweight base layer and Columbia zip-off pants. Um, I keep that just for, you know, getting wet, getting incredibly dirty, or just the need for extra clothes uh, during the winter time. Um, and then this is the leftover of what I've got now. My buff, my uh, buff is in there, um, and I keep a pair of uh, lightweight thermal underwear bottoms um, in that bag as well. And then this green bag, is a uh, pair of shorts and t-shirt for uh, going to town that just always kind of stays tucked away down in the bottom of my bag. And this is a uh, dry sack for my uh, Mont Bell um, down jacket. So uh, clothes wise, everything during the day is kind of color coded red. Those would be the things that, you know, I can, uh, I can wear during the day. I keep it separate from my uh, sleep clothing so nothing gets wet. And uh, kind of moving on. Uh, and the last thing we have here is uh, my electronics bag. This is the uh, Anchor 20,000 uh, milliamp charger. Uh, that's a four port USB charger. And I keep this Anchor, it's, uh, they call it an Anchor candy bar. Uh, that will recharge my iPhone twice. Uh, so if I'm slack packing or just day packing or whatnot, I take this with me instead of the uh, heavier um, uh, Anchor the 20,000 milliamp. It just uh, it's a little bit of a backup, and I like having having a phone backup. And as I'm uh, kind of trying to vlog this thing and and take as much video as I can, it helps to have the uh, helps to have the battery backup. Those are the cords necessary for charging all of the uh, uh, battery backups plus my phone. Uh, this is a heavy duty iPhone charging cord. Uh, this is a uh, pair of eyeglasses. And this is essentially a 32 gigabyte external hard drive for my iPhone if needed. And this is my, uh, the pages from my guide that are necessary. Uh, notebook, a, uh, um, a uh, Sharpie, and a pen uh, just for uh, recording things. I'm going to uh, pack everything back in the uh, AG65 and let you see what it looks like as a complete pack. And there's the fully packed AG65. Um, love the front facing uh, water bottle pocket there on the side. Makes it very easy to uh, pull that bottle to drink from while I'm walking. Um, I don't know if I talked about my Lecky cork light trekking poles. Um, don't know how I ever lived without those. Uh, those have saved my bacon already quite a few times. Um, great uh, side pockets or hip belt pockets on that, uh, on that pack just to uh, fill with uh, snacks and whatnot. I keep my phone in my pocket for easy access. Uh, using the iPhone 7 Plus uh, to do my filming, I had an action camera, but uh, decided that this was more convenient and uh, a little more conducive for what I'm trying to do. Um, hand sanitizer, and then that's my smaller uh, Nalgene bottle inside of my um, titanium coffee mug. And uh, I keep my, uh, oops, keep my, uh, uh, Crocs right there on the outside, but uh, there's plenty of room there for my tent. So if I have to pack my tent up when it's wet, uh, it'll go right there and uh, able to keep that out of the back of my, or keep that out of the inside of my pack, which works out quite well. And everything that's uh, rain related is uh, inside that uh, that extra pocket and uh, my AT tag there. So that is my pack and my dead trekking poles. So. Appreciate you uh, watching, following along, and uh, starting tomorrow morning, we'll uh, we'll get out of mountain crossings and start getting some more miles on the books.